The high school sports season is officially over, if you can believe it. Two new state championships this spring and boys and girls lacrosse. Now it's time for Section 3 to honor its local athletes. I was honored myself to MC tonight with more than 800 people at the SRC Arena rooting on their hometown stars. 105 local high schools participate in athletics. It's a landmass that stretches from Cortland County east to the Mohawk Valley all the way through the North Country. I love to represent my school in every way possible, but just to have my academics and athletics um, be put here is just great. Two representatives from each school honored at the Section 3 Scholar Athlete Dinner. I mean, then again, it's just kind of an, an honor that the school chose me as like, to represent the athletes as the face of the school. It's really great to see everybody around and uh, just getting recognition for all the hard work they've done. It's their work on the field that everybody notices. The work in the classroom, though, is what secures their future. It, it was an honor to be like, selected out of everybody in my school. Just being with 31 out of 165 valedictorians in other schools, that's just insane. It's, it's just a privilege. Typically, you think of football, baseball, basketball, perhaps. But our local athletes honored tonight. They do that and more, spanning from Nordic skiing to even a world record holder in weightlifting. Uh, my deadlift max currently is over 300 pounds, and so for my age and weight class, it ranks pretty high. It definitely taught me to push past that um, strength barrier, you know, when mm -hmm. you get really frustrated, you work really hard, and you're not hitting PRs in the gym anymore, and that transferred over to my academics as, you know, when you, you struggle with studying, you're struggling with that homework, and you're not getting the best grades that you just have to study harder. No matter the corner of Central New York or the wide range of sports, these student athletes are united in their common core values. Hard work breeds success. Just knowing that someone's got your back and that, you know, not to be the star on the volleyball court or to be the star runner on the relay, you know, just learning to depend on people um, and also learning to balance, like I said earlier, um, and just learning to have fun. Um, not everything has to be a serious competition. I definitely wasn't the best person on the team, but I learned to get better and find my weaknesses and also rely on people. All wow. the faces you saw there, that's exactly why I told them. They've got me for life to be a, just a small part of that event. Congratulations to everybody honored. That is an impressive group. Yes. Thanks, Nico. We'll be right back with more on the news at 10.